throughout each and every one of you. Especially the children has taken his breath of time out of your lives to be here today. What we're doing at this time and age is not for the elders, but it's for the children that are going to be left behind when we're long gone. The stand that we're taking here today is for them, for the children, for the four-legged, for the birds you hear singing their songs, for all of these little ones, little voices out there, the ones that don't have a voice in nature. They need you to speak up for them. For us, you know, we got inspired by uh, leadership of the indigenous communities and we felt that they should be better represented in museums so we started collaborating with the Lummi Nation on the totem pole journey where we installed where we set up this totem pole in an exhibit presenting the journey so rather than the object presented in the in the museum as an object presented the journey itself and told the story of all of the stops that it went to and the, the ish dealt with really the issues that people were dealing with along the journey route, so environmental justice and injustice. So we're an organization of science. We're science-based educators and advocates. And we stand here today in solidarity Solidarity with the Ramapo Lenape, solidarity with the Lummi, and solidarity with people across the continent and the world as water protectors. And unfortunately, right now, that means standing up and speaking out against fossil fuel development and infrastructure that threatens our water, it threatens our climate, it threatens our communities. It's time for you to go to your city council. It's time for you to go to your state legislature. It's time for you to make the call to your senator, your governor, and tell him, go and confront him and bring your grandchildren with you. And to tell him, her, that you're saying these words not for us, we're the first generation that recognizes global climate change. And you know what? We're the last generation that can do something about it. We have to come together no matter who we are, where we're from, and stand united in order for our voices to be heard. In unity. One heart, one mind. I'd swallow it. I'd swallow with one heart and one mind.